night in my dreams i see you i feel you that is how i know you go After you fit the gown that you will use in your younger brother's wedding and make it sure that everything is okay and fits your body perfectly, you paid for it and left the boutique since you need to drive for 3 hours going to the wedding venue. After you left the boutique, you walk to the parking lot when suddenly the slipper you were wearing on your right foot came off. Since you were only wearing shorts, a plain white shirt, and slipper, you slowly jump using your one leg until you reach near into your slipper. You're about to put it on, but some men pass by and kick your slipper so it moves further away from you. You are waiting for one of them to pick up and return this clipper to you since they kick it. But it's like nothing happened. Yeah! You yelled at them. But no one pay attention to you. The seven boys continues to walk. Yeah! Men in black! You said since all of them were in black. And finally, they all turned to you. Yes, said the man in the middle, as if he was the leader of the group. You were stunned for a moment because he was really handsome. But later on, you managed to act normal. You fake up and say, Are you really like that when you did something wrong? Like, it's nothing? Boss, I will take care of her. No, it's fine. I will handle this. As the handsome guy named Kim Taeyong walks to you. What's wrong? He said in a cold and deep voice. Look, someone kicked my sleeper in your group. You replied while raising your brows. Taeyong looked down and saw that your one foot has no sleeper. He looked around and found your sleeper near in Jack. Jack, take that sleeper and bring it here. Boss, it's Jackie Lou. Fine, Jackie Lou. But boss, this sleeper might be dirty. My name got new nail art. Excuse me? So you're saying my feet are dirty? You want me to shave your head? You witch? What? Witch? Maybe you don't know me. I'm the queen of all mermaids. Jackie Lou, enough. I'm sorry, miss. Friends pick up your slipper instead and hit to Jack's head as she walk goes to you. Taeyong took the sleeper as he bent down and grabbed your ankle. He left it while putting the sleeper on your foot. Is that enough? Taeyong said and turned his back on you and continued to walk until you saw the guy named Jack sticking out his tongue on you. Later on, when they were far away, you took a deep breath and held your chest because your heart seems to jump at what Taeyong did. You rush back to the parking lot after seeing the time. You need to hurry before you are late for your brother's wedding. It's the witch fault. Why did it take so long? You said while running to your car. But when you arrive at the parking lot, you see that there are people around your car and one of them is leaning on your car. 
As you get closer and closer, you recognize them, especially the witch and the handsome man who won your heart just earlier, and he is the one who leaning on your car. Excuse me, that's my car. I'm leaving. Oh, I'm sorry. Boss, why do you apologize to her? You just lean on her car, you didn't break it. You suddenly got pissed at the witch because the situation was supposed to be okay. You talked to his handsome boss, but he suddenly interrupted and ruined the moment. What if I hit you with my car? Then do it. Jack said while rolling his eyes. Jack, stop it! Miss, I'm sorry again. You're about to answer, but you remember that you're going to the venue. So you just nod and get inside your car and left. Shit, traffic! You said while biting your nails at the intensity that you feel. You're scared that you might late for your younger brother's important day. Your phone rang as you answer immediately after seeing it was your mom. Hello, mom, you said. Where are you? Your mom asked. I'm on my way, mom. You were talking to your mom and because of that, you didn't notice that Taeyong was already staring at you since the car he was riding was next to yours during traffic. You end the call until you felt weird feelings like someone is watching you. So you look around and finally you saw the handsome guy earlier. He smiles and signal you to open the window. You open the window and ask, Why? We met again. Do you believe in the saying that if you meet three times in a row, you are destined for each other? He asked. I don't know. I never heard that saying before. When the other window opened and Jack peeked in. How about the saying that if you meet three times in a row, you will be enemies for life? You again? You said. And since the light turned in green, that's mean it go. You just followed your brows and gave Jack a middle sign and close the window on drive. Jackie Lou, do you have a problem with that girl? Why does it seem you hate her? Boss, this is your fault because you don't allow me to wear a lipstick like her. Her lipstick shades look so beautiful. Be thankful that you are my trusted man. If not, I definitely feed you to the shark a long time ago. It's good that you are not late. At least you still have enough time to put on makeup and take care of yourself. Later on, the wedding started. As you walked to aisle since you were the maid of honor. Until you noticed a familiar face, but he suddenly gone. So you thought you just imagining. While the breast is busy talking, you are also busy crying because your little brother got married. You can't accept that he will leave you now since you treat him a baby. You raise him because both of your parents working abroad. You just cried and cried. You even bit your mom because she's so relaxed. You're like a buffalo when you cry because of your noise. Almost everyone is looking at you, but you doesn't care. Until someone sits beside you and gives you a handkerchief. You look at him and you are surprised to see him. 
with you. Why are you here? You ask. We are guests here. Y you? Taeyong ask. I am the groom's sister slash mother. Wipe your tears. You look ugly when you cry. When you heard the word ugly, you immediately took the handkerchief and wiped your tears and act innocent in front of Taeyong. But you heard someone speak behind you. <laughs> but when you cried earlier, you thought you were at the funeral. You look at him and say, Don't try me, witch. I will drown you in the sea. After the wedding ceremony, you got busy entertaining the guests, especially your relatives and friends. So you didn't notice the handsome guy. You also forgot to ask your brother who invited them since he also busy. After two hours, the guests are leaving one by one. Since you are not busy anymore, you look to your brother but you didn't see him. Until your eyes landed on the guy standing near the sea, you smiled and walked close to him, thinking he is your brother because the silly YN is already drunk. The moment you are close to Taeyong, you immediately hug him from his back. I look for you everywhere, you're just here, you said and hugged him even more tightly. Taeyong was surprised. So he removed your hand that securely wrapping his waist and facing you. He saw you smiling while your eyes were closed and your cheeks were so red. At that time, Taeyong knew you were drunk. You stepped closer and hugged him again. Later on, Taeyong felt that you sobbing your face in his chest. Why do you smell so good? You ask as you step back, but you didn't look up, so you didn't see his face. Bricks, <laughs> don't forget to visit Nuna, okay? Even if you're already like another girl. Remember, I raised you. I was the one who always changed your diaper. That's why I saw that grow. You said while pointing his junior. Remember, I was with you when you got circumcised. You said while pointing his again. I'm serious, bro. Don't forget me. I'm your Nuna. Hashtag money. You said and hug him again. When you notice something. As you start touching his chest. Do you go to the gym? Your body seems big now. You said and continued touching his chest. You continued talking until you got pissed off because he didn't answer you. So you pinch both of his nipples. And that's when Taeyong scream. You step back in shock and look up. And finally recognize him and realize that it's not your brother who you've been hugging since earlier. Boss, what happened? Briggs came panting. He immediately ran when he heard Taeyong scream. Boss? Nuna, he is Kim Taeyong, the Mafia King, and my boss. Just comment Chori Chori if you want part 2.